It's one of the Gambia's most important historical sites, the island of Kunta Kinte, named after the rebel slave made famous in the novel and US television series Roots. I think it's very important because we need to know about our history. That is the only way we can truly understand and uh, fully realize our potential. Kinte is said to have been taken captive in 1767 and held prisoner in this cell. The island fort housed dozens of West Africans like him who were chained and branded before being shipped to the New World. But the UNESCO World Heritage Site, deep in the mouth of the River Gambia, is being eroded away. Before, the island was very big, six times bigger than this. Today, six times smaller, but because of the erosion. Historians say the island was neglected under former president Yahya Jame, who instead pushed tours into visiting his own home village. Jame was defeated in December polls, ousted from power after 22 years. We were under a lot of pressure you know, to conform you know, to how he interpreted, how he wanted to interpret you know, Gambian history. And, and, and our resistance to that, uh, you know, I mean, let you know, the island to suffer. You know, from lack of attention and from lack of funding, particularly I mean, like for conservation exercise. There is a small slavery museum across the water near where Kinte is said to have lived, but local historians believe their national hero deserves more, with hopes of a resource centre, shows and educational tours. That would build on Kinte's memory, rather than letting the history get washed away.